Hi there, this is Donna Kozik, and I am the creator and leader of the original Write a Book in a Weekend program, along with our sister program, Done For You Publishing. And this is a training I'm doing about three strange and unusual books anyone can write. Today, I'm featuring my first strange and unusual book, and that is a trivia book. People love trivia, and you can tap into that love of with of uh, trivia with a book of your own, one that can still serve as a marketing tool for your business. So not only strange and unusual, but actually a good tool for you to promote and market your business. So here I'm just going to get started in the method of writing a trivia book. And for, before I do that, let me just say, I say people love trivia. Also, I was looking for this type of book uh, as stocking stuffers over uh, the Christmas season. And I really couldn't find too many. I couldn't find like what I was looking for. So I think that there is definitely room in this market uh, for us to come in and provide some trivia books of our own. So here's how to get started. First of all, identify five to seven categories of trivia topics. Uh, that you will have in your book. I recommend picking topics that interest you personally, and you'll see why I am recommending that in just a moment. So for example, five topics that interest me include historical space exploration, things like Apollo 13 and the right stuff, and a whole that whole era I just love. Uh, real life survival stories. As many of you know, uh, it's one of my favorite podcasts. And one of the reasons I love it is because people are telling their own stories and I know they made it <laughs> when they're, they're talking about their survival stories. Uh, baseball, I'm a huge baseball fan. San Diego Padres are my team. Uh, travel, I love to travel. I've just been reminiscing about my trip to Prague several years ago. Also have some travel planned for this coming year. And then reading, of course, reading and writing a uh, definitely a topic of interest of mine. So find five to seven categories of trivia topics for yourself and then find about 20 or so trivia questions and answers related to each of these topics. And you can use Google to search for those, chat GPT, Wikipedia to help with this. And I'm just gonna put in here right now, just give credit to these sources. in your book and uh, then you're covered in uh, using those. Then uh, put together the trivia qu uh, questions and answers in sections. So this is kind of nice because I talk sometimes about having an emotional charge when it comes to writing. If you're writing uh, you know, personal memoir stories or something like that, it can be kind of hard to get started, but this is easy. It's just trivia questions about topics that you're interested in. So there really isn't any type of writing resistance over that. Then number four, write an introduction describing the trivia topics and why you pick them. Include some information about who you are and what you do too. So again, just a short introduction to the book, talking a little bit about yourself and uh, these trivia topics and then go right into um, the Q&A for your five to seven categories. And of course, publish that book so you can use it as a big business card and uh, have it out there to help people like myself who are looking for these trivia books. So this is a great gift book for the holidays, plus it creates content you could use as an icebreaker for Zoom meetings or group coaching sessions. And a little extra credit, what you could do is introduce each trivia section with a story or deeper dive about how you came to love the topic. So uh, for example, I wrote something up this morning in preparation for this training. I started watching baseball when I was working late hours, starting my coaching business and had the TV on for company. I found it impossible to write emails and websites while following along with an episode of Law and Order. I was dating a guy who was into baseball and decided to give it a watch. It wasn't long before I was hooked. I found the San Diego Padre announcers entertaining company as I worked. Plus, I knew to look up whenever I heard the crack of the bat. That's when the action was taking place. As a bonus, it gave me something to talk about with said boyfriend. Although he's ancient history, my love of baseball has grown stronger throughout the years. If you love baseball too, or want to dabble and see what it's all about, here's some trivia to get you started. 
And then I let's start it with three questions. Which team won the first World Series in 1903? Answer the Boston Americans, now known as the Boston Red Sox, won the first World Series, defeating the Pittsburgh Pirates. Question, who was the first African-American to play Major League Baseball in the modern era? Answer, Jackie Robinson. He broke the baseball color line when he started at first base for the Brooklyn Dodgers on April 15th, 1947. Question, what significant change did Babe Ruth bring to the game of baseball during the 1920s? Answer, Babe Ruth revolutionized baseball by popularizing the home run as a key part of the game, transitioning it from the dead ball era, where strategy revolved around bunting and single base hits to more exciting game focused on power hitting. So some interest, some things I didn't even know when I was researching this about baseball, but here's a little insider information about this and uh, why I recommend doing the extra credit and introducing each trivia section with a story or deeper dive about how you came to love the topic. So what I was able to do here in this example is actually uh, describe a little bit about myself and kind of give some um, hints to how I conduct business and a little bit about me as a coach. So I um, mentioned I was working late hours. So although that is not necessarily a positive for people, but still for a reader, it's like, oh, she's a hard worker. I mentioned I started my coaching business, so they know that I'm I'm a coach. I probably, by the way, I'll go and revise this a little bit. It's just it's it's almost it's like a, a draft I did this morning, but I see where I repeated a few words and stuff. I'll smooth it out. Anyway, uh, then I, I talk about writing emails and websites. I mentioned you can't watch an episode of Law and Order. So it's like, oh, if you like Law and Order or, um, you know, then you know that show. And then also it puts me in a certain generation, all right, of people who like Law and Order. And my clients are generally the same generation I am or a little bit older. So that gives a hint to that. Um, I talk about, um, you know, dating this guy again, a little just kind of about personality. I say the San Diego Padres here. So people give a location, they know where I am. And again, this is subtle, but it's a really uh, cool thing to do is to put your location in general. And then people like they can place you in their mind. Oh, she's in California, or I have a cousin who lives in San Diego or something like that. And what it does, it makes a connection between you and your reader. Um, here, just again, talking about the uh, crack of the bat. Oh, and then, you know, I have a little, uh, it's like, oh, even though the boyfriend's ancient history, my love of baseball has grown stronger throughout the years. And uh, then I just kind of give them permission to, to find out a little bit more about baseball. Uh, if you love baseball, so then if the reader does love baseball, they're like, oh yeah, I'm all about it. Another connection they have with me or I invite them and give them permission to dabble and see what it's all about. So that way, it's just kind of like a lighthearted way to say, um, hey, why don't you kind of take this in? You know, I also might add, it's like, oh, you might want to impress your friends, <laughs> you know, or impress uh, someone in your life who loves baseball with one of these trivia things. And what that does is it empowers the reader to like take in this information with kind of a, a different ulterior motive too, of uh, some way that they can show off um, their smarts with this with, with some pieces of trivia. So some psychological things going on in here, in addition to introducing us myself and a part of my personality with a trivia book, a very strange and unusual book for someone to write. But as you can see, one that is uh, pretty easy to put together and then also can still serve as a big business card for you, but even more importantly, as a way to introduce yourself to readers and to potential clients. All right, so this is my first book, first strange and unusual book anyone can write, a trivia book. Uh, for those who are here live with me in my Zoom room, I'm gonna come in and answer any questions that you have about this. In the meantime, this is Donna Kozik. I am the creator and leader of the original Write a Book in a Weekend program, along with our sister program, Done For You Publishing. You can pick up a free publishing checklist at doneforyoupublishing.com. And then I look forward to seeing you on Amazon. I look forward to reading your trivia and I look forward to seeing you in the bookstore.